Welcome to part number 68 of Gran Turismo 5 A Spec. This is the Moving Chicane, and today we're doing the Formula GT World Championship. I went ahead and changed it from the finale to part 68 because of the fact that this car just appeared in the dealership. Right now, I did a bunch of money grinding. I managed to find a second one. Oh boy! So I went ahead and bought it because, you know, I didn't want to use the orange one again. And yeah, I wanted to use a different color. I went ahead and already gave it an oil change and everything. I just did that right now. And yeah, I only have 706 credits because I did a bunch of money grinding for um, the Dream Car Championship series because it gives you a lot in B-Spec. And before FGT. So yeah, I'm broke. Yay! Although I can get the money back. What's up, Ramon? Um, let's see here. Can I change my outfit to like better match? I wonder if I have a blue suit. Better match the car livery. Yeah, I do. Okay, that works. What about helmet-wise? FGT lobbies. I'm broke. Okay. So, guess what, guys? Uh, for those who aren't watching the stream, for those who are watching this as a uploaded video, I'm using a Thrustmaster TGT! Yeah! And how I'm doing that, I bought myself a GIMX adapter, so G-I-M-X adapter. I'll spell it right now. As it appears on the screen, GIMX adapter, GIMX adapter, costing me 30 euros, well worth it. My TGT works like flawlessly. It basically emulates a King Gimp adapter. <laughs> um, it basically emulates a Driving Force Pro wheel. So I can use this on the PS2, I can use my Thrustmaster wheel on my PS2 and my PS3. And guess what? If you guys wanted to go and, oh shit, that's right, I have no money for tires, oof. Um, if you guys wanted to go and get yourselves, you know, a direct drive wheel and play it on your PS3 or PS2, you're more than welcome to with this adapter. This video is in no way, shape, or form endorsed by them because I actually paid damn money to get that adapter. I think it's like a small, like, group of, like, modders or something from France. I forgot I had no money sandwich. Give a man a break. All right, not a bad start. Not too much wheel spin. Whoa, I got hit from behind. Maybe the first race to use my Thrustmaster wheel is... It's not such a good idea to use a FGT for my first race with this wheel in this game. I only did like very minimal testing on GT6. Because when I got the adapter, I was actually in the middle of the Sakuba race still. Williams type tier funding. Hope the rooms will last the hard race. Well, I have hearts. They should last. F1 2019 and Fuji. Oh yeah, because like it's coming out this week on all the kids are playing it. But me, I'm an old man. <coughs> Gotta play GT5 still. Also, 20 laps here instead of, what, 36 or so, or 37? B-Spec? Now, I could go and extend the gearing, but, eh. I want to keep it an even playing field, considering the fact that I'm driving the car and Alonzo isn't. It's coming out tomorrow. Oh, okay. BG Water looks pretty good on next gen. Oh my god. That's what I get for looking at chat. It's okay, we're still top seven. Six, top six, okay. They'll have a long race ahead of us too, so. Don't text and drive. Try not to, dad. See, it's such a, you know, it's such a huge jump going from a Thrustmaster or from a Driving Force GT for this game to a Thrustmaster because, like, the wheel's so much heavier. And so, like, ugh. Like, the feedback, like, 
it doesn't necessarily emulate like driving force pro feedback like okay like it the force feedback on this is perfect right like it works out as it should but because i'm using a belt driven wheel instead of whatever the driving force gt is it's using all of the force feedback strength still and i'm like oh god <laughs> So imagine Gran Turismo 4 when I get to that game eventually, and we do the R92CP IA license test down the Molson straight. Gear driven? Is it gear driven? That was belt driven. Or oh, you're, oh, you're talking about um the the driving force GT. Well, up to third. My wrist. Well, this isn't a direct drive, so I don't have to worry about messing up my wrist, I don't think. But this is a lot of fun, man. I just wish I had the Ferrari rim from Thrustmaster. That would have been perfect for this. But a bit overkill, in my opinion, like... Yeah, is that going to snap my wrist on a G27? It's going to be worse with this wheel. I'm going to show you how to get rid of your arms in five easy steps. There's two... Tw oh, wait, wait. Well, Marvin, I, I kind of spoiled it for you. I'm sorry. There's two 24 hours of Le Mans. There's the one with the Molson straight with no chicanes, and then the ones with the chicanes. Basically, classic race and then the um, modern race. I tried using it. I tested out, you know, the emulator. I tried using a Toyota 7. At Le Mans, it did not work out perfect. It did not work out at all. It's very sad because I want to use something different. It's crazy how the Toyota 7 is like underpowered in GT4, but in this game, it's so OP compared to some of the LMP cars. Oh, shit. See, it's like one step forward and two steps back. Kind of dance can never last. Oh, no, no. It's one step forward and two steps back. Nobody gets too far like that. That's how it goes. And then it's this dance will never last. I don't know, dude. It feels so understeery in GT4, in my opinion. In this game and in 6, it's really quick. Encore. Or where's a meal when you need him? That one cheap shifter? You mean the uh, T3PA? Oh no 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 th 8 a T3PA is the pedal set. Honestly, I actually like the the shifter. I think the shifter's pretty good. Like I got to find, I got to finally try out the shifter at E3 when Next Level Racing had their booth, and it's actually pretty good. All the group C's are understeery and four. Oh, oh, are you sure they're understeery? I remember them being oversteery. By the way, so this is actually the first time I'm playing without headphones because. You know, I'm playing on a really low volume on the TV. If you guys can hear the TV or the, yeah, the sound of the TV bleeding through the mic, let me know. I have it on a really low volume where I could just hear it. You tried both of them? This is the only championship you haven't done? Ah, okay. I've never done it either. Like, I know what the prize car is, because, you know, back in the day, I spoiled it for myself. I was like, do I get a, you know, do I get this prize car, like, in GT4? Don't say this, don't say the prize car in GT4, guys, because Marvin hasn't, Marvin the Gamer hasn't played it yet, and he's watching. Um, but, no, it, it's, it's a cool prize car, but nothing, like, nothing too spectacular, in my opinion. I'm a noob. Oh, no comparison? I've never used the Fanatec one. But I mean, I thought the Thrustmaster one was pretty neat. 
Then again, you're talking to a guy who's only used um, like an H pattern shifter. It's a GTR LM. Yeah, exactly. You get a Nissan Skyline. Um, you're talking to a guy who's only used a G27 shifter his whole life. Who's never used an actual H pattern shifter in from any other sim setup. Only GT game you've completed is GT. Only one I completed GT1. Because hey, I yell Pudi. That was the first time I ever competed, uh, completed a Gran Turismo game. I got a Prius LMP1. Hey, if they had that GT300 Prius, I'd, I'd be pretty happy in, if they had it in this game. Or in any Gran Turismo games. Instead, we get that Prius Touring car, which is still the hybrid car. Loud and clunky. The throw is long compared to the Fanatec. Wait, which one is the Fanatec one? Like, what's it called? Because don't they have several different types of shifters? Maybe the reason why I, I... Maybe the reason why I didn't notice how loud it was is because, you know, you're at E3, so... All you hear is, like... You do hear the sim that you're playing on, but mostly you hear people talking in the background. And then also, there was a Bang Energy booth. So all you heard throughout, you know, the whole time when you're playing on a set of Corsa is like, Alright y'all, here's the Bang Energy girls about to dance while, you know, the Super Smash Brothers tournament's going on. And it's like... Cool? Okay. I, I just want to play my game, damn it. The club sport? Ah, okay. Okay. Note to self, stop going down to second gear. Yes, I said bang energy. They were at E3. Wombo combo. <laughs> I think gear should only be used if like you're coming out of a really tight corner. Like maybe the Monaco hairpin at the casino. Or this corner. Turn one at Fuji, not so much. I'm actually surprised that I haven't like spun the car out or anything yet. Maybe because like since I'm using my since I'm using my Thrustmaster wheel, it's like obviously the pedal set. It, it, there's no comparison between like wheels today and in the DF Pro or DF GT's pedal set. Obviously, pedals today are much better. Well. Except for the G29 ones, because they're awful. They, like... They they wipe their ass with, like, the saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. They fix the brake pedals, and, like, the brake pedal is even worse. But that's besides the point. Like, I feel like with the DFGT, I would actually just spin the car out, because I'd give it too much throttle, but... I don't know. Here, I can, like, manage it perfectly now. I've never been this consistent with an FGT before. I mean, the G27 shifter's not terrible. Of course it's bad compared to like the shifters of today. And even then the G29 shifter is basically the G27 shifter, just without the buttons on that little, on the little face or whatever. It's not a terrible thing, like it's not the worst on the planet, but obviously compared to everything else it's just kinda like paperweight. It's gated. Oh, ooh, okay, that's right. I'm saying ooh because, like, the comparison you made about the shifter being gated. I don't know, I like the shifter. Like, I would consider getting one, but if I can get, like, another shifter, I don't know, like a Fanatec one or something, then I, I'd go with that too. Depending on which one's the best one, because. GT Sport, it's like, if GT Sport still had the daily races where they didn't have the customized transmission anymore, you know, like the ones where you have to use the H-Pattern 
to be fastest, like with an 86 at Majore or whatever, then I'd consider getting a TH88. But in their case, you know, if they're changing all the daily race A's to cars having tuned transmissions and whatnot where it doesn't have that delay, then yeah, I mean, I would consider getting like a Fanatec shifter or something else. Madrid Games Week was really special for you. You only played two games, yeah. At E3, I only played, like, a handful of games, too. Let's see here. What did I play? I played... Forza Horizon 4's LEGO Expansion. And I played Halo 5. I played... Borderlands, I think? It's just unfair to compare. Yeah, exactly. Recent update made the paddle shifting faster. Oh, really? Oh, how did you like the TGT? One was 180, the other was like 260. Yeah, that's kind of a big uh, jump in price. And again, you know, just like any hobby that you want to take seriously. Uh, sim racing can be expensive. Yo, this has been a pretty competitive race. Mainly because, you know... I'm not the fastest with this car. How did I find the TGT still can feel my arms? Maybe they, I don't know, maybe they had like the feedback turned down. I'm not saying it's the strongest wheel in the world, of course it isn't. Your T80 for 200, yeah, that's a steal, Rishi. Hey, why would you go and buy a T-150 for, like, 150 bucks if you can buy a T-80 for 200 from Rishi? Honking emoji. Oh, still can't. Oh, okay. That, that, uh, that extra apostrophe in T make a big difference, my friend. So, it's a modded T-80? Oh, in what way? Yeah, I'm selling my um, I'm I'm selling my good old my old Pelican wheel and my Mad Cat's wheel for 500 each. It has dead spots for added realism. Oh, that's a hell of a mod, Rishi. Was it a DIY mod? DSL Elite. Versus the one that's $100 more. Nope. When it comes to Fanatec products, I know, like, nothing about them. I mean, the only Fanatec wheel I've ever owned was... It simulates understeer force feedback. Yeah, clearly. Um, the only one that I've ever used was the ESR, which is that Forza 4 one. Forza Motorsport 4 back in the day. I got it for a steal on Craigslist. I got it for, like, 150 or 200 bucks with, like... I think club sport pedals, which is the one with the clutch, and then, like, a stand. But the problem was that, like, that wheel broke so quickly. And I never did anything to it. Like, literally, the wheel itself, it got detached from the motor or something. So, like, you couldn't turn the wheel anymore. Like, the weird thing is you could feel force feedback, but you couldn't turn the wheel anymore. Like I said, I didn't mistreat it or anything. I hardly even used it. And I had it for like several months. Play it every once in a while, you know? But yeah, when it comes to Fanatec stuff, I know nothing about the Fanatec products. You wanna find a sim racing hot lap challenge somewhere? Um I don't know, like sometimes just random events you can win stuff, dude. Like Sometimes these random events will literally have like a like a sim setup because oh look it's a wheel and it, it's like a real car one-handed driving by the way because i'm opening my window
You live in the most boring suburban area. Well, I don't know, like, I'll give you an example. So maybe two years ago in, you know, in the city of Long Beach, like literally around the turn nine area. Oh, rain carting, ooh. Um, so yeah, in the city of Long Beach, like, you know, every single year around the turn nine area, which is like where the arena is and like the big parking lot where the hairpin is, um, events are always thrown at that particular spot. There's a skating event called du there's a skating event called Dew Tour, which is like you know Mountain Dew, doing a like a skate tour across the country at different locations and stuff. And so, it's a free event. Point is, Razor Gaming was there, and at a skating event they had a sim competition on Project Cars 2. And I ended up winning a graphics card, which I had to sell because you know my mom was like in a really bad position and like needed money for her car note. I was like, ah, oh, shit. Gotta do what you gotta do. What's iRacing? Did you pay for a subscription and, like, not use it? No, I haven't lived life in that case, Rishi. I... I'm trying to think. I know somebody that I know did parting in the rain before. Oh, I remember who. One of my buddies on YouTube. His name is True Racer. I think he went to like a Scusa event or something and I think it started raining and he just you know I think the race might have been canceled or something but there's like an onboard of him like sliding around in the rain I believe and I think if I remember correctly the caption of the video was like we decided to just use it as like a random test day just to test you know grip like te you know to test my ability to catch oversteer and stuff Oof. I can't see your new YouTube avatar. It's just... It's too small for me to see on my end. It just looks like a pitch black screen. So, it's... I'd have to actually open up your channel, which... Eh, I'm streaming, so I really can't see it right now. Fortunately. But yeah, status update. Um, five seconds, I think, is our lead. Yeah, that was way too deep. Yep, five seconds. I just noticed something. BMW M4 Tokyo. Oh shit! It's okay. We're still in the lead. We're still leading. No, no, no! I'm not Nelson PK today. See, that was the Nelson PK strats. I got on the on the throttle too soon. I spun around and hit the wall. But my teammate isn't isn't in the pits. Hmm. Oh, we went from five seconds to half a second. I was just gonna comment something right now. I noticed that Hello Mr. Sebastian Vettel. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's not raining, okay? We're not at Germany. I just noticed something right now, guys. There's no tire wear or fuel wear in this series. That's so stupid. Like, there's absolutely no tire wear or fuel wear in this championship, but there is in the B spec version. You know what? I'm actually kind of glad that I'm I'm not doing this as the finale. I mean, as much fun as this car is to drive, that is kind of dumb. Like, heck, even if they had, you know, tire wear that was just, like, rapid, I'd, I'd be cool with that. Make it feel like a mini Grand Prix race. Like, kind of dumb. I can still rejoin the track in an unsafe manner. Yeah, of course I can. And then I'll get a penalty, and then everyone will be like, oh, the Mafia is after after us guys hey Sean how you doing I'm still extending my gap so that's okay but yeah this is kind of retarded like why is there no fuel and tire wear 
in a formula race that's 20 laps long? But in B-Spec there is. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We have three laps to go, and this race is fun. Like, despite the fact that there's no tire wear, this is still a fun race and series to do. It's just not really series, you know, LP finale worthy, in my opinion, anymore. Dude, I didn't even watch the French Grand Prix. Like, all I know is that, like, Hamilton won, and Ricardo got hit with, like, two separate penalties. And then the only highlight of the whole weekend for, you know, Paul Ricard is an F2, where that one guy got, like, nine penalty points in a single weekend. And this guy is, like, so bad that he's, like, maybe slower than pole sitting F3 pace. Almost like the game wasn't finished. Yeah, hmm. Also, how did it open up a pretty decent gap already? Already have 3.7 seconds. He's pretty awful. Yeah, I, I, yeah, the, <laughs> that guy, yeah, I, I don't know how to say his name. Like, dude, the fact that you're slower than F3 pace, like, how? Oh, money. F3 pace while getting nine, nine penalty points, yep. But that was a terrible line, but I'll make the, make the uh, corner. We're good. Putting a corner at Monaco and taking someone out? Oh my god. Let me guess, he cut the Nouvelle Chicane, is that right? That's like the only logical corner that I can think that he would actually cut. Because you can't cut any corners in Monaco. Unless you cut rumble strips, but... Or, oh, turn one, that's right. Uh, the pit exit. That's right, okay. I forgot you can actually kind of cut that area. Anyways, final lap at Fuji. There's a little battle for second behind us. He almost took like three cars, really? Damn. He must have felt like a G right afterwards, man. Taking over that many cars. He must have felt really good about himself. You see, I thought Tatiana Cal uh, Calderon was like the worst driver in F2. But hell no, like... She's still last in points somehow compared to this guy, but I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe she has bad luck. I mean, I don't know. I don't watch F2. Which I should, because I actually like, I don't know, it's like Hamilton compared to Rangamangan. I, I don't know. I like how Blebking spelled it. He's like right rang a ten and nana 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 guy. Anyways, yay, we win at Fuji. I have your Ram Ranch. Oh, I missed one, Nana. Oh, sorry. Yay, we can afford softer tires now. Not like it matters, because we can still win these races with ease. Oh, boy, it's the Indianapolis Road Course. My favorite layout. Not really. I hate this course. I hate this particular layout. It's just so Mickey Mouse. Like, I know Ben Mayo is going to come in here and be like, no, like, well, this is my favorite indie layout. I'm sorry, Ben. No, it sucks. And before tire failure? Yeah, and before tire failure on turn 13. Only six cars starting the field? What?
Hey guys, Ben here. Around the outside into T1. We keep the same position that we started with. Gotta take it easy through this section. Of course, one of the FGTs ahead of us slows down too much. Get him around the outside. Ah, damn. We would have went over him and flipped if it was real life. I was not expecting the AI to go that slow through this section. Oof. FGT with TGT. Yep. Like the US it's like the 2005 USGP, not even. This race actually has action unlike that one. Here, if you if we want to simulate Okay, you know what? Fuck it. We'll simulate the 2005 US Grand Prix. Uh this is not a Toyota. If it was a red car it'd make more sense, but Hey look guys, I'm Ralph Schumacher. These tires aren't safe, guys. Oh shit. Alright, now it's my first is my last first challenge. Alright, let's actually be serious now and try to win this damn race. 12.6 12, 12 second gap. It's gonna increase because obviously we're going down a straightaway at a slower speed than them. I'm gonna use the. I'm gonna use this cam because I feel like I'm a little bit faster in this cam, the cockpit view. Hey guys, Ralph Schumacher here, yep. First, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> this is my first. Yeah, this is my first to last and last to first challenge. There you go. <laughs> Ralph Schumacher here that dies. Oh, this is the Williams. Hey, okay, look, this is the Williams BMW from 2004 because he, he actually hit turn 13 twice. So, hey, it's, it's not super inaccurate. Inaccurate, I mean. Again, I wasn't expecting these cars to go really slow in the corners. The 1969 Talladega 500. The hell happened in that race? That race was a meme? In what way? Yeah, Fanatec is really pricey, man. But, you know, like, like I said before, you know, sim racing is an expensive hobby when you want to get, like, high-quality equipment. Like, dude, this wheel is $800. I was just, you know, lucky and fortunate and grace, you know, just... I mean... I guess the one thing... The one thing that this wheel did cost me was, you know, my wallet, my wallet, my credit card with no, or my debit card with no money, my license, my driver's license, and a gun pointed to my chest. But hey, I mean, it worked out at the end of the day, right? Did I buy that wheel off you at 50 bucks? I have a Thrustmaster TGT. So the, the Thrustmaster TGT cost $800, but long story short, last year at E3, I was competing in, you know, Thrustmaster had this, like, fast lap challenge where you could win, like, I think their TSPC racer wheel with, like, a next level cockpit and, like, a Samsung 4K TV and a TV mount and all these other crazy stuff. I was first, heading into the final day. But then, I got robbed on my way home from E3. Nope, I got my iPhone 5C stolen along with, like, my wallet and stuff. Not my E3 bash, because I don't think the 
the thieves really gave a damn about what that even was, or even knew what the hell was around my my, ne uh, my was around my neck. And then on the last day, they decide to do ID checks. The five C was blurst. So yeah, I did the ID checks, and someone ended up beating my time, and I lost, and so. The guys from Thrustmaster found out through a friend of mine what happened to me, and they reached out to me, and then they sent me the TGT as a little... at a consultation price of some sorts. Which was really nice in their end, because this wheel is not cheap. There was a huge difference in speed between the competitors, and even after the race finished, there was a debate. Oh yeah, like, NASCAR was kind of late when it came to, like... Proper timing and scoring and stuff, and obviously this race was in the 60s, but... Jesus Christ, like... This is not the first time that they had, like, a debate on who won a race and stuff. I can't remember what race it was. I remember watching some show on, like, Fox Sports 1. It's like, top 10 NASCAR, like, most controversial moments. And it's like a race where... I think... The timing and scoring loop had one guy, like one lap ahead of everybody and that was his only win i gotta ask my friend diego about it because he's like the nascar expert what's up illusions how are you man 1959 daytona 500 was a three-way tie hey you know what was also crazy when indy when uh, indy cars or usac or whatever the USAC Championship Trail, which is basically IndyCars. In 59, they ran at Daytona, and I think two drivers died in two separate incidents because of how dangerous the track was for IndyCar racing. Hey, Silverblade, uh, English only, please. Oh shit, did not mean to go in the grass. Uh, correct. I didn't have any form of ID. Like, okay, it's not it's, it's not Thrustmaster's fault or anything. Don't forget that it was... I couldn't get into the E3 show. Yeah, Illusions, we know that NASCAR met up with Honda, but there's nothing set in stone yet. Don't forget that Honda already works with NASCAR. They provide the generators for, like, the K&N series and stuff. Anyways, um... It's not like it was Thrustmaster's fault or anything. It was... The E3 staff wouldn't, you know, let me in. And so they were like, you know, you can go grab, you know, grab something at home. Like, grab, you know, if you have your, like, social security card at home, you can grab that. And I'm like, no. Why would I go grab my social security card? Like, I got robbed once. What if I get robbed again? Like, someone gets my SSN, I'm screwed. I'm screwed for the rest of my life. It's like, is that worth it to go inside a game show? Fuck no. I don't want Asian cars in my S car. Yeah, even though we got Toyota already. Manual. You know, as much of a handful these cars are to drive, this is a lot of fun still. I wish we had these cars in GT Sport. Like, the Super Formula cars are awesome, and so is the Mercedes F1 car, even though that car had bugs in the beginning when it first came out. But I mean, this, uh, this car is still, like, a real handful to drive, like... I like walking on a tightrope, really. Like one small mistake and, you know, you're easily screwed. Oh. You get a devil.
Well, 1.3 second lead. I, I do like how competitive the series is. Feels a bit spread out compared, you know, well, it's about the same as Fuji. Oops. Okay, now we're starting to extend the gap quite a bit. Yeah, we gained a lot of time in that sector. Went down a second by accident. Yeah, you should have spent your money, dude, on my racing if you weren't gonna play it. At least you bought, what, a one month subscription and that was it? Yeah, I don't know how much it is in euros, but 13 US dollars isn't not a total loss, at least. At least you didn't pay like a year and not play it. Still a pretty big gap, but behind them, oh, no, 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 no. It's not 13 euros here because taxes. Jesus Christ, even for like services you get taxed, like, you know, for online services like that? Like, okay, here in the United States, we get taxed for like, I think we get taxed if like, We don't get taxed for food, but we get taxed at restaurants and stuff. Like if someone, yeah, like sales tax is what Abstract is saying. Like we don't get, you know, we get taxed for food. Like if we go to a restaurant and someone pre uh, preps food for us, then we do get taxed. But if like we buy groceries at a grocery store, we don't get taxed. There's only like certain items we get taxed for, like electronics and things like that. Never for online services though. Or, like, gasoline slash petrol. Like, we, we don't get taxed for that here. So it's kind of ridiculous how you guys get taxed for even on online service. 13, 21% of that is, like, almost 3 euros. A uh, junk food tax? I don't think so. The only, the only thing that we have to pay for, like, actual certain food. The only thing that we have to pay... No, there isn't. Unless, like, the price... Are you sure? Unless the prices themselves have the tax included in it already. Imagine gas not being 250 a gallon. Yeah, imagine it being fucking 350. That's how much it is here. Damn, that sucks, dude. Getting taxed for shipping, too? Five cents and... Uh, I'm not surprised, Marvin. I'm not surprised. This is the only... This is, like, one of the few states in the country where you try to get nickel and dime for everything here. Oh, before I spun out, what I was gonna say was we have to pay CRV for, like, plastic bottles. 
Which, it's stupid because, like, we have to pay five cents for, like, a plastic bottle fee. And then, you know, like, then you're given this, like, misconception that, oh, like, guess what, guys? You can go to, a, you know, like, you can go recycle your bottles at a recycling place and you can make, you can make extra cash. It's like, no, you don't make extra fucking cash doing that. Instead, what you do is you're make you're just getting back the CRV that you paid. Like, I hate, like, I love my state, but I hate my state at the same time, just because of how expensive it is here. It's my favorite sports car? I don't have one. I like too many cars to, to be decisive, to be honest. I just love cars in general, man. Like, everything from a Ferrari, love Ferrari, down to a Dehaizu Midget. I love everything. Almost everything. There's some cars that I can't stand. At least hobos can make money for, from bottles for crack. Yeah, exactly. I mean, one thing that, you know, at least CRV doesn't affect, you know, like, half of my bottles it doesn't affect is, like, my job. I deal with a lot of bottles anyway, so like... Hey Gus, long time no see buddy, how are you? Exams and studying? It's alright man, just you know, keep the hustle going dude. Just make money by asking for money? But see, you gotta be creative with it, like... Like, okay, like, Marvin, I was maybe, like, two blocks around, away from your house. I went to a gas station around your house. And, like, some people, dude, some people, like, when they ask you for a service, they get mad when you decline. Like, there was this bum. Like, he didn't even, like, I I'm not trying to, like, be funny, but he literally, like, he, he walked up to me with, like, like a squishy, like, like one of those, like, like, squingies or squishies or whatever that you, like, clean... Our windows with and like a bottle of uh i don't know i guess it was windex but it looked white so it might have just been water so he literally went up to, to the to my car he was like eh, 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 eh. and he pointed at the car i was like nah man i can't he's like, he's like eh, eh, eh. i'm like dude i don't have any money to give you i'm sorry and he just like he's gonna like, fuck you and he walked away i was like okay like i guess sorry like Sorry that I won't have you clean my car's windows with your disgusting, like, sponge that I don't know where it's been. That'll be $5? Yeah, I mean, exactly. I'm not gonna say what gas station is, Marvin, because obviously that will be too... That would, that would say too much, but I think you know which one I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure it happened at the same gas station. And in front of a midget, 100% will get your money back. Yeah, Rishi, what's up? Oh, also Silverblade. $40 is ridiculous for shipping. Unless it's a big item. If it's like a parcel or something small, then that's stupid. I'm gonna shove a sponge up their ass. <laughs> Marvin, we have to coordinate that when you're not working, when I'm not working. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, $45 should ship a 1x64 diecast? That's ridiculous. Also, what kind of diecast do you collect, by the way? Any specific ones, or just... Whatever. Like, I have a friend who... Same friend who's into NASCAR and who competes in the NASCAR Heat... E League, he collects a bunch of, I think, 1x18 diecasts. Or 1x8. I, I, I don't know. It's, they're the bigger scaled ones. Let's get a 118.
Jeez, really? Oh, okay, so, I mean, you, you have the same bum problems, too, where they try to, like, they try to clean your windows before, or you, they try to clean your windows for money. A collection of cards from Grand Turismo 4. Ooh. So, I'm guessing you're collecting every single card from the game in diecast form, is what you're saying. So, like, you're gonna try to find yourself an MX-5 or, well, you're you're from New Zealand, so you're in the power, yeah, you're in power region. You're gonna find yourself an MX-5 and then you're gonna find yourself an MX-5 V special and then an S special. Is that the idea here? Okay, my wheel disconnected. I have to reconnect it. I'm so glad that I had my controller right next to me, in case anything were to happen. Nothing wrong with the adapter or anything, it's just that my, my USB hubs are kind of loose. It is an older PC afterwards. Para eso no me des. Oh, I know, dude, like... I know it's fucked up, but that's why I don't bother giving anything to homeless people, man, because it's like... I've only experienced, like, one time, dude, one time where a homeless person actually, like, thanked me and gave gave me a hug and then moved away from the spot that he was, like... He was asking from. Only once. Oh, so you're just gonna collect, like, only just the models themselves, like, not all the variants, but just, like, the model. I see. Anyways, but yeah. Yeah, bums are kind of ruthless, dude. Like, okay, so the only good ex the only good experience I had with a bum before was, like, you know, standing outside this Jack in the Box, or, yeah, it is Jack in the Box. I was gonna say Hungry Jacks, but I think it's Burger King in Australia. Um... Because it's standing outside of Jack in the Box, which is like a shitty fast food place. It was late at night, and so he was just like, hey, can you give me some food? I was like, are tacos fine? He's like, that's all I got? He's like, yeah, yeah, perfect. So I bought him like six tacos because they were like three dollars all together. And he looked at me, he was just like, dude, thank you so much. And he just started eating them and he walked away. And I'm like, yep, that's how you knew that he actually wanted something. But then like, most bums are like, you know, can you spare a dollar? Can you, sp like, dude, hey, man, like... Dude, it's even getting to the point where people, like... Like, like, people will, will dress in, like, nice clothes begging for money. Like, dude, I had this lady, I went to the... I went to the grocery store the other day, and this one lady, she was literally wearing, like, a... She, dude, she was walking around with a Gucci bag, and she was like, Hey, man, can you give me some money to eat? I'm like, I can't. And she's like, I, I, I'm really hungry. I was like... I, I was literally gonna tell her, like, I'll buy your Gucci bag off of you, but I was like, no, I'm, you know, like... She's probably gonna be like, fuck you, and she's probably gonna swing it at me, but then I was like, I'm sorry, I don't have any extra cash. She's like, whatever, and she just walked away. Just eat the bag. Yeah, Gucci bags have um, a lot of nutrition in them, Rishi. Okay, I don't really have a problem with with street performers. I don't really have a problem with street performers, Abstract. Because I feel like at that point, there's 
I, I feel like when it comes to street performers, what, like, what that shows instead is that they're willing to do something to earn whatever money. Hey, Arthur. Um, I feel like street performers aren't really a bad thing. Yeah, they might be annoying, but at least they're trying to do something. At least they're trying to entertain some people that way someone can drop a dollar or two. My opinion, just asking, like, hey, can you, can you give me a dollar or trying to be demanding with asking for change? I don't agree with that. But trying to do something at least, like... Yeah, street performers are hustlers, exactly! Like, you gotta you gotta hustle one way or another, man. Anyways, Monaco is the third round. Buy food from usually really thankful for it. Yeah, see, that's good, Sean. See, that's nice. Not when, you know, certain bums are just like... Like, dickheads about it, you know what I mean? Hot Wheels made the 4GT LM cover car. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, that helps. But you see, the problem, Silverblade, is that a lot of the cars in the game, some of them are LM editions, and some of them are, like, fantasy road cars. So, like, the Honda NSX R prototype LM road car. Not gonna find that anywhere. That's That's the one problem. Anyways, 20 laps around Monaco. And of course, we have a bit of a train here. Bad start on my end. Damn, the AI is really slow going up the hill. Now here's second corner, uh, second gear is fine. I'm literally one-handing it around there, like I'm literally grabbing the wheel from the top and then turning it the whole way with my right hand. I'll read you guys' comments when the first lap is done or when I can find a place to do it. Into the Nouvelle Chicane for the first time today. Flame pool section is next. Oh, I can't really go flat out through here. Maybe on softer tires I can, but with hards, nope. Alright. Start reading the comments right now. Oh, no way! Ky Kyosho really did do the NSXR? Nice! You know someone who lifted chairs with his nose to get money? See, that's... that's a hustle still. That's still some sort of, like, street entertainment. You buy a beggar a Big Mac and they take it, they're actually imp impoverished. They turn it down and then they're a fake. Yeah. Exactly. That's how you know. It's like when you offer people food and they say no, or they're picky with food. Oh man, this is going to be a tough race. I mean, you can go full yeet in every corner, but I don't want to be too dirty. But when the AI goes slow like that out of the corners, then yeah, sometimes a little nudge will help. Pass in the swaying pool section. Nice pass. Ooh, the Fantasy RX-7 LM edition. Nice. Dude, this race is tough. I can't imagine how brutal it's going to be around here when I get to Gran Turismo 4. And even GT3, because, you know, it is the full Monaco GP in that game. Okay, up to P4, not bad. Making improvements. Let's take it easy through the casino section. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, exactly, Arthur. 
at least like, like the homeless people around Sean's area, like they're pretty nice. Like I had two really bad run-ins with homeless people, like when I was young. The first one was like one time I remember my I was out with my mom, me and my brother and my sister and my mom. We, we went to the store, and then this bum asked us for money. And my mom said no, and he started following us and asked us for money again. Said no, and then he pulled out a machete on us. And then the second time was that like one of my older brothers he like. He friended a bum, which was nice and everything, because, like, the bum was nice to him, and I guess he, they had, like, deep philosophical conversations or some shit. And he wasn't a crazy man. Or, well, maybe he was a crazy man, because what I'm going to say right now is that we, we we fed him, but then he kept coming to the house every day asking for food, as if, like, you know, we're supposed to feed him. And then he tried breaking into the house one day. As they tried to, but was unsuccessful, because, you know, he doesn't have the tools to break in. He just tried... Forcing an entry. Hey, Mazorski, what's up, man? Read your comment right now. Four local monkeys? Oh, shit. You know what doesn't help either is that like this next level stand that I have, the wheel stand light that I bought from GameStop, it's a good it's a good stand, but it's just like too short for me. And then like the chair that I have is really bad, so I'm really uncomfortable. Kind of creepy, yeah, it is, man. We're already on lap five. The race is moving by quickly. Jesus Christ, man. The getting stuck behind the AI sucks because, like, they're so slow or, or, uh, out of some of the corners. Yeah, man, the FGT is... It, it sounds really good in this game. My favorite racing game, so Gran Turismo 4 is number one. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 is number two. Burnout 3 Takedown is number three. Gran Turismo 2 is probably number four. And then number five... Um... I don't know what number five would be. Number five I have to think really hard about. Maybe Gran Turismo 3? third gear for this corner yeah third gear is more ideal for the airpin uh abs is on but tcs is off because i'm stupid and my first my first attempt on gt5 with this wheel would be with this car because i i'm dumb Okay, 9.7 seconds. We close the gap by two seconds. Good. I feel like the AI is faster. Not faster, but I feel like they're matching us everywhere except for the slow corners. Like, the, the hairpin and the Nouvelle Chicane, like, I feel like we're closing the gap quite a bit to them. Oh no, they're fast, they're, they're slow around turn two, I think. God 
Damn it! Get out of the way! Wonder how much time I lost. We'll find out right now. Oh, we didn't lose any time. We didn't lose that much time. I think we could have been at around the six seven, uh, the six second mark, had we not been stuck behind the other FGT and now in P5. Yeah, they did, Arthur. Except for the slow corners, they're really slow around turn two, the Nouvelle Chicane, and the hairpin at the casino section. Okay, I don't think I lost that much time that, this time around. Okay, I lost a little bit more time. Thanks, P3. Really appreciate it. Five point five seconds. I mean, we're gonna win this race still if we don't make any mistakes, but damn, this race is pretty. This car and this track is really tough. Considering that my dumbass isn't using any assist. I feel like I have a cleaner track ahead of me, so I wanna really aim for the fast slap now. Four seconds. Nice. He actually navigated the hairpin not you know not that bad. Hi right, Ricer? No. Like, if you're talking about, do I like, like, tuner cars? Yes. Like, if cars are modified, if they're customized and they look nice, yes. But if they're, like, really big wangs for no reason, then no. Damn, 15.4. Not bad. Okay, that's how I should do it. Going down a second, like, once I turn the wheel all the way and I'm, like, able to straighten the car out, go to second, get the acceleration out of the corner. Oh, well, yeah, Underground 2 is different. I mean... That game has some really ridiculous upgrades on the cars. Yeah, only the Underground series, because that game has some really dumb upgrades. And then when I do my- when I re-LP Most Wanted, it'll be the same thing, some rice, some no rice.
and as crazy as this car is, it's still a lot of fun. No, I've said that in a lot already, but still, like, my god, I'm having so much fun doing it. Despite the fact that I'm sweating like a goddamn pig here. Because it is summertime, so now it's hot as hell here in L.A. Fifteen point three. Okay, improving my time because clean traffic or clean air ahead of me. Um. The rare log of sadness, no kidding. Um, it's both, Sean. Like, I have no AC in my house. But my friend has, um, he has a central unit. I know. Pray for me. Summer must be fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Considering the fact that the house that I live in has no ventilation whatsoever because the architects who designed it were dumbasses and they didn't build the house with ventilation in mind, so he gets trapped inside very easily and therefore heat doesn't leave, so it gets hot. It gets really hot during the daytime, hot during the nighttime. It's unbearable in my house. And yet, rent is still expensive out here. Why? Because people want to come here to be movie stars and shit. I know it sounds. I, I, I know my tinfoil hat is probably tight right now, but I'm pretty sure that's the reason why it's it's so expensive out here because of the beach and because so many people come out here because they want to live in like they want to go to Hollywood and like become movie stars or some shit. Both the houses I lived in, in a nutshell. Oof. Like you share the pain that I do. I see. People do love waterfront properties. Like some beach houses look, they look old and ran down. But my beach. Yeah, you get AC and we don't. Ain't that some shit. Gotta save for the down payment? Yeah. That's where the problem lies.
Jeez, man, I'm like cooking right now. I'm gonna take a break after this race is over before we do the fourth round, which I think round number four is Anza or Nurburgring. Hey, Daniel, doing good. How are you? Only fifteen thousand. Yeah. Let me mm, let me say fifteen thousand when you know when I'm living paycheck to paycheck here. Two thousand ten steering. You don't miss that. Well. Imagine playing this with the Thrustmaster TGT wheel. That's what I'm doing right now. And it's not like I'm emulating just the DF Pro Force feedback. No, all the force feedback in this wheel is being used. And I'm sweating like a damn pig right now. Because it's hot over here. Because it is now summertime. Where I think it's winter where you're at now, right? Oh. Arthur, is it winter time for you right now? Okay, um... What the hell happened? Okay, I really need to get a new PC. Because, like, the USB adapters... No, but I'm using... I'm using this adapter. I need to get a new PC, because, like... I want to replace my USB hubs, because my USB hubs are so loose... That it's literally disconnecting my my gim my gim X adapter over time, and that's really annoying. Or I need to get like a laptop. So yeah, give me a second. Gotta re gotta reopen the launcher because you have to actually use a computer program to get this working. Yeah, I don't know why this is not working. Um, I might use a laptop, like, for the adapter, maybe. Like, I'm, I am going to get a laptop for school, but I might run the software from a laptop. So that way, like, I'm, it's, a, it's not using my actual computer. You get me? All right, let's try this again. Sorry for the jump cut. The jump cut happened because my wheel disconnected again. Holy shit, what happened at the start? I think I think one of those AI cars actually like tried to get around me. I think they all hit the wall or something. I'm pretty sure they swerved around me. What the hell happened with that AI? Why is it so slow? So yes, I'm using an adapter called the GIMX adapter, Daniel, which lets me emulate a Driving Force Pro with whatever wheel I want to use on my PC. So it could be anything, Logitech, Fanatec, Thrustmaster, it could be, hell, even direct drive wheels. I want to use an OSW SIM cube or something, whatever. It emulates it as a Driving Force Pro, and I'm able to use any wheel I want on my PS2 and PS3. And it's amazing. It only costs 30 euros. It's well worth it. What is this GT1 AI?
Well, my lead has decreased to two seconds, but still not bad. Got three laps to go here at Monaco. Well on our way to victory, unless something really catastrophic happens, which I doubt it will. Two to go. Yeah, man, the fastest lap too. Nice. I'm gonna aim for fastest laps. I'm going to use my preferred cam, which is Bumper. I like how you commented that and right I hit the same exact wall that he hit right now, Arthur. Damn, this is sloppy. Okay, so let's just chill, let's rebound, and let's try to get the fastest lap on the final lap. I'm going to stop talking in three, two, one. Final lap. Oof. Okay, well, I screwed up turn one and I screwed up that corner, so yeah, just like Arthur said, I, I nailed the Maldonado. Let's see if I can get nine penalty points so I can be the um that F2 driver. Who's my who's my hero now in racing? Yeah, I feel like I can get, we, we can get into the 14s without any mistakes. But anyways, we did it. We went at Monaco, and the game froze for like a second because Gran Turismo 5. It's a mess. Woo! Well, we're far away from level 39. I'm going to use a thumbnail from this race. So... Gonna save the replay and round number four of the series takes place at Nurburgring Grand Prix slash F layout, which stands for formula. And yeah, this is recording session number two, stream number two, I should say as well. So yeah, we'll finish this today in this recording and let's do this. As usual, not the best start because we're not on TCS like the other cars. Find a nice gap that we can get through. Two spots on the outside. Kind of got held up there by the green FGT. Oh, shit. You know, despite the bit of a sloppy start that I'm having, I feel way more comfortable than the first... Um, three rounds only because I'm actually using my my new play seat now so 
Yeah, pedals and wheel positioning are perfect for me. The Schumacher ass had to lift just a little bit to avoid getting into the dirt. I'm just trying to take it easy here. What's up, Rishi? Three seconds. This is the gap between myself and first place. And the AI is actually pretty good at Nurburgring in the Grand Prix circuit. Half a to four seconds. How many gigs do I have on my computer now? Like, um, 600? Dude, I edited like 40 videos. Yeah, the AI is actually pretty good here. They didn't really break at the exit. Oh yeah, but I mean, compared to most of the other tracks, Rishi, this AI isn't that bad. What's up, Android? Yeah, I just have to find a way around these guys, because I don't want to, like, punt them off the road. There we go. And on the outside. I'm carrying the, the hard tire, so I can't really go flat out through... Schumacher S. Yeah, for real! Like, the FGT is such a cool car. Like, they should just bring it back to GT Sport. I mean, they have the F1500, so... You know, this could be like, you know, obviously this could be like the 2004 Formula GT, because it is an 04, technically. These cars are really cool looking, too. Okay, that was a little bit too rough into turn one. Exactly. Everyone will be happy. Everyone will make liveries for it. Well, what does the Mercedes-Benz have to do with the Formula GT? I know, right, Salika? Dude, the livery editor will go crazy. Like, I could just imagine, like, FGT and GT4 was perfect because, oh, wow. Oh, he died. Oof. But yeah, FGC was perfect in GT4 because the series was kind of a mix between Indy and F1. So like, you know, you had, what, like, the Japanese Grand Prix, you had... Okay, you had, like, the Japanese Grand Prix, you had, like, the Infineon IndyCar race, you had the Motegi Japan 300, you had the Monaco Grand Prix... Like, it would have been cool if we had a GC4 style FGC series in like GT5 or 6 because of the new tracks, so it would have been more accurate to F1 and Indy. Surprisingly easy to drive. I mean, yeah, like, the FGT is actually pretty good to drive once, um, once you get the hang of it, it's not really that difficult. Even with all the assist off. With TCS? Probably. I haven't tried it with TCS. With a wheel. Yeah, I just like to go all in without TCS, because I'm dumb. Um, read the title, Barney. Of the stream.
I'm doing pretty good here, like, maintaining a decent gap between myself and second place and the leader. Not really losing too much. 2.4 seconds, that's pretty good. And yeah, despite the fact that, you know, like, I guess the AI might break. I don't really see them breaking at the exit of the chicane. Yeah, they didn't break, see? Kind of went off, but it wasn't that bad. I can only imagine that these guys are probably on, like, mediums or softs or something. I'm on hards, which makes it harder for me. Like I said earlier, I could put on mediums, but then that would, you know... Mediums or softs, but it would make it too easy. Considering the fact that there's no tire degradation. So I gotta make it hard somehow, or even harder. It makes it harder, yeah. I'm sorry, after you've been to Anime Expo the, the previous day and you went to the hentai section, you're just like, ugh, you're, you're, your innocence is taken away from you. One point two seconds, okay. And we're already on five laps in. Pretty good. Exactly, Arthur. It was all Mikhail's fault. Just saw a TMC. What do you mean? Like, Puma's doing some sort of, like, ad now where they have TMC on the side, and I didn't approve for Puma to use my likeness. So I'm gonna have to take Puma to court. I saw that yesterday when we left the convention center. I was like, what the hell? Because Mikhail was like, hey, look. Look at that billboard. And it was like, I don't know who was modeling Puma's, but next to the ad, like, on the ad it said TMC. So I was like, what the hell? It was a truck that had TMC on the side. Was it a Puma ad? Imagine also have my face. Yeah, that'd be crazy. I thought he was going to die again, like the P4 car. Oh, he made a big mistake into that corner. Oh, is it? What kind of, what, what kind of channel is it? MSF is a real thing. Oh, it's a mountain rescue service. Ah, oh, it's interesting. This is probably going to be the longest race of the series. This or the Suzuka round. But I fully expected it to be the longest race have. Man, this car's a lot of fun to drive in these games with a wheel. Like, controller, I mean, I haven't driven this car with a controller in this game. Only in GT4, and man, the car in GT4 is really tough to drive. In my opinion. Although, the last time I drove an FGT in that game was like... 2006, 2007. It's been a while. That's just something to make it a private article at MSF.
Because I'm going to South America. Or else you're going to have a little girl whose name is Pete. Steal your, your greatest creation. Hey, what's up, Gus? How you doing? Reality TV? Oh my god. Damn it. I've been cursed with a reality TV channel, I see, in France. French reality TV sucks. I mean, reality TV in general sucks. Diamond stocks. Um, yeah, I mean, in general, reality TV is bad. Like, I, I just don't see the point of, like, watching these kind of shows, you know, apart from the drama, I guess. But even then, I don't even believe most of the drama. I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking, man. Doing this championship. And just chilling, you know, another day, another day in paradise. That's all I have to say. I didn't even realize we had the fastest lap of the race previously. But yeah, I mean, like, the only reality shows that I'd like to watch was, like, GT Academy, when that was actually a reality show back in the day. I think it was on Speed, if I remember correctly. Um, like, some competition shows I actually kind of like. Like, the Food Network, there's a show called Chopped, which is like, um, which is like a tournament, like a cooking tournament show. Things like that I don't mind watching, but, like... Reality love shows like Jersey Shore, uh, shit like that, I, I always despised. Never saw the point. It was all just stupid. That's where stonks come from? I didn't even know that. I didn't even know it was a military term. Hey, Sean, how you doing, man? How's the Xbox repair going? Maintaining a pretty decent gap. 1.8 seconds. Not bad. Obviously, if we put a setup on the car, we could probably easily destroy these guys like Alonzo did. E-spec, but... I only did it with Alonzo because I wasn't sure if the AI could actually win on. Insert F1 theme. Na, 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 na. What's up, Abstract? That's enough of my horrible singing for one stream. Made a small mistake at the chicane, but nothing too bad. Also, something must have happened to the AI behind me, because I somehow opened up like a whole second on them. Yeah, look. Oh, well, no. Not really. We were like, what, 1.8? Now it's 2. Or maybe we did open up a big, bigger gap, but then I lost um, time in the chicane. Yeah, I mean, like, Xbox 360s, they sold a lot. Okay, something did happen. Three seconds is the gap now. Um, 360s aren't that hard to find. I would, like I said, man, I would just go with a slim. Just because the original Xbox 360s are really prone to breaking. Even with, um, e even with the adhesive or whatever, like, I, I, I wouldn't even bother. Because I used to work at a game repair, I used to work at, a, like, a retro game shop, and I used to try to repair 360s all the time, and no matter what you did, they'd always find some way to break. Yeah, just, that's what you can do, just swap the hard drive. Hey, Inferno, how you doing, man? Ooh, 33. 
That was a pretty smooth lap. Nice. <laughs> like the string to nut instantly. <laughs> work for you, Salika. Nice. Well, you should go and like every single one of my videos then. Go do it now. Yeah, Fernando, it for sure does, dude. We were just talking about that right now. It's basically a mid-2000s F1 car. It would please everyone. How many consoles have fixed in my lifetime? Um, successful Xbox 360s? Probably like one or two. Unsuccessful 360s, probably like 10 or 12. All the ones that would try to put the, the thermal paste or whatever on, they would never work for me, no matter what. And in the 360s that um, had the fans fail for the Red Ring of Death, I would replace the fans and then they'd work perfect. But I still wouldn't trust them just because those 360s were made without longevity in mind. Now, when I used to work at the game shop, like, PS2s are my specialty. I could repair PS2s easily. Oh, I know, Arthur. That would be a dream. Also, what's up, Mikhail? Everyone in chat, do me a favor. Can we put some birthday cakes in chat for Mikhail? Because today's Mikhail's birthday. We give Mikhail a good old happy birthday, and also, hi Ender. Let's go. Let's give some love to Mikhail, guys. Happy birthday, Mikhail. Oh, nearly made a mistake at the hairpin. Thank you, chat. Hey, Sky. How you doing, man? Sky, post a birthday cake, please, for Mikhail. It's his birthday today. Like, I can't stress how fun this is with this car. Like, using the Game X adapter, using the Thrustmaster TGT wheel, using the GT Omega stand. Like, this is so much fun. Like, with my old office chair, I was, like, I was feeling discomfort and, like, and stuff. And I think the problem, too, was that because I was using a, you know, a wheel stand light, I had to play closer to the TV. My, my, my uh, computer tower is on the bottom, so I kept knocking over the tower, which kept um, pulling out the USB drive. But with the stand, with the, not with the stand, with the GT Omega rig, I think that problem's pretty much been fixed. I'm pretty much comfortable, I'm snuggly in this seat, and yeah, just having fun with this. Hey, what's up, fanboy? How you doing, man? <laughs> you only get virtual birthday cake and $10 lobster gift card. Oh, Red Lobster. Dude, Red Lobster's disgusting. Well, it's not disgusting. Red Lobster's pretty good, but... It... I mean, one of my favorite comedians, uh, Patrice O'Neill, he basically described it as um, Red Scorpion because the lobsters that you get are like really tiny. Like they barely give you any portions most of the time. Doing good, man. Thanks for asking, this guy. Really appreciate it. Cheese biscuits. I mean, I've only been to Red Lobster a couple times. Also, I'm losing time to the second place car. I'm like kind of slowing down my pace a bit. He's picking up the pace quite a bit. Well, I didn't get a cock, but I bought it. It's like my first sim, actual sim purchase in a long time. Um, I got the GT Omega Art XL, I want to say. 
I have a photo of it on um, on my Discord. Go check it out, dude. It's the same one that Z28 got. It's really good, dude. It's really comfy. And it was about time that I actually needed to get myself a play seat of some sort. Yep, Sean, that I can definitely say. Oh, you got the Placey Evolution? Nice! And you're getting a PS3 Slim? Nice, bro. Haro? Ooh. You got a TSO 50 on your birthday? Dude, that is awesome. You see, when I had my birthday last year, I got a Beetle GR3. And then this year, I think I got myself, like, an N300 car. It wasn't even anything good. My birthday was ruined by PD. Can drive it outside of Lamar. I mean, how do you get this car in the used dealership? By finding it in the used dealership. Just keep looking. There's no magical way to make it appear. You just have to get lucky with it, dude. Or do all the endurances, get the level 24 coupon, turn off autosave, and then just... If you don't get the, the car from the coupon, just keep on trying again and again. After this race, I'm going to make my chat bigger, because I can barely see the chat on my end. Yeah, I do. I, I remember when I drove the X2010 here. 124 attempts, Ender. That was hell. You refresh the dealership? Well, just keep refreshing. There's nothing else you can do, dude. Let's use sheets. Yeah, it, it, unfortunately not, Jay. I mean, it's all random. People, I mean, I'm, I wholeheartedly believe that is completely random. Some people say if you get a certain car list in the beginning, then it determines, you know, what day cycle you are, you're on or something. But no, I don't believe that for a second because why would PD go and give you like three of the same models in, in one dealership? Like, for example, I remember one time when I was cycling through the dealership to find this car, I found like three apt Audis in the same dealership cycle. It was stupid. One of them was like a hundred thousand, like, like not a hundred thousand, like a thousand kilometers. Another one was like two thousand and then the other one was like nine kilometers. The GT5 used car dealership sucks masterpiece. What, what PS3 do you have, fanboy? Nine K. Yeah, it's still a used car at the end of the day. Oh shit. Okay, we still have a pretty big gap. The normal fat one. I'm actually more surprised that yours is actually still alive all this time. Because my best friend, he he got like a eighty gigabyte fat PS3 the day it came out, and it died like two years ago. The Spider-Man movie followed? Yeah, I remember! Oh my god! I remember that old font. I remember that weird commercial with the baby, I think. That is impressive. So a lot of you still have fat PS3s. And you, Salika. Shit. That's amazing. Andrew, I would just mod it in that case. Just mod your PS3. Replace the hard drive and then just install Rebug. It's pretty easy, to be honest. Like, that's what I would do if, you, if your disk drive fails. 
only you were allowed to use a Ferrari F1. Yeah, I mean... To me, that was PD's biggest mistake with this event. They should have allowed the Ferrari F1 cars to be used here, or made this a Ferrari F1 championship. And hell, you don't even have to call it Ferrari Formula 1. I understand they didn't call it Ferrari F1 because, like, copyright reasons and all, but... All you had to name it was just, like, Ferrari World Championship or something, you know? Like, that's all you had to really do. Or, or, they should have just made this car a premium car. Or, like Gran Turismo 4, make this car, like, in a, a prize car for one of the events. So it's not complete RNG to beat the game. Yeah, there you go. Ferrari Grassi Ragazzi Championship. Way too clumsy. It's, it's really easy, dude. Dude, I feel like I'm a clumsy person. And I've gotten kind of less clumsy over the years. Good. So, I... I would say if me, a clumsy person, can do it, so can you, so, uh, Ender. By the way, Salika and Ender, I watched you guys' Rainbow Six stream, and I think I lost a couple brain cells afterwards. Because, my God, I don't know what the hell I was watching. Guess I was watching two European cowboys kick ass and then lose at the same time or something. That's pretty much my understanding of that stream. Nice! Two terabytes? That's quite a lot. That's like plenty of space. Oh no, that JPEG. Yeah, it was just a- it was just a shit show. It was funny, though. Um, the AI must have went off from the track or something, because now the set- the, the gap is like, yep, 3.7. I thought it was gonna be bigger. <laughs> My accent is no match for your Western. PS5 is not a guarantee next year. Nothing's been announced by Sony. It's all just speculation at this point, dude. Yeah, I know about the price card for this. Actually, the price card's not bad for this event. Don't say what it is, because obviously some people here haven't played GT5, but I'd say... The price card for this event's pretty cool. It's not necessarily the best, but if you guys want the Formula GT beat spec that I already did, then you guys will know what I won. Or you'll have an idea of what the price card in A spec will be, because it's kind of like... The A spec and B spec prices go hand to hand in this game. It's like either different variants or style of car. For most of the prizes in this game. Not all of them. But I can already say this because I've done the championship already, but like the American championship is like the one exception because you either win a tank car in A spec or an SSR in B spec. Not all of Goodwood. I did watch some. I watched like Mick Schumacher go up the hill with the F2004. Three point six seconds? Not a lot of time. That's not close. Well, F1 fan, I mean, Grand Turismo 5 has shit prize cars for the most of the races anyways. Like, you do a NASCAR series, why would you get a Cougar and why would you get a, a Tempest Le Mans GTO? They're cool cars, but not for that late in the game. Little mistakes like that that will cause you to lose the race. No! Stop reading chat! Just bring it home! 
Just bring it home, TMC. By the way, can you guys hear that music in the background? Not the in-game music, but the music coming through the mic. I'm just wondering. One point six seconds. Oh, loady coming, but not gonna have enough. Kind of like a doorbell. Well, I have my neighbors bumping rap music really loud, so. Unfortunately, gotta shut the window. And it, the room's gotta get hot, but whatever. Hey, Moy, how you doing, man? Gonna have the stream in the background? Thanks, dude, appreciate it. Alright, so that's Nurburgring down. Um, we don't have the championship sealed yet. But, yeah. It doesn't bother you guys, but it bothers me. Because it's like, yeah. Go ahead and just bump music out of your Honda Civic. Woo, you're fucking cool. Alright, Monza! Round number five of the championship. All we have to do here is finish, like, second. And we're guaranteed the title. Is it gonna rain? Are we gonna have weather at Monza? We will find out. We're not gonna have it. Nope. Here we go. Round number five. The Italian Grand Prix. Uh, the Italian Half Grand Prix, or like pre eights Grand Prix, because it's not the full distance. There's six rounds in this series. I never increased the size of the chat. Oh, well. Well, I got hit from behind. That was fun. And that AI card didn't move out the way. So I guess this is the last to first challenge, I guess? Kind of like an indie. Yeah, thank you for the respect. I appreciate it. It's asshole hours. Oh, you live near a highway. That's the worst, dude. I live near... Uh, I mean, I live sort of kind of close to a highway. But... You don't really hear it too much. Yeah, it would be an infinite second penalty. I would get a penalty for getting hit from behind. Damn, the AI are really bad at navigating the chicane. Oh, I see. You have to hear street races all night. I hate street racing, though. Not in video games, but in real life. Like, I can't begin to tell you the amount of times the street racers have almost hit me on the freeway. And what would that be, abstract? Um, my best well-known moment at Monza is the uh, Weebs only race with Jimmy in the Ford F-150s here, where we finished 1-2. I unfortunately finished second. I would have won the race had the Austrian dude not sideswiped me on the straightaway. But I had that massive tail on everybody.
So that would be my favorite Monza moment. Of course. Of course you would, Abstract. Actually, the choppers haven't really came too much recently. They used to come, like, every morning. I guess they were looking for somebody. I need to beat my fellow racist to assert dominant. Yeah, they it could. But I don't want to extend the gears because I, I don't want to make this too easy. I want to I want to make it as difficult as possible, uh, Fernando, which is why I didn't increase the, the gears. I mean, I'm not the best at Monza either. It, Monza's a fun track, but... It just takes practice, dude. Fighter jets? They're probably just doing some sort of exercise, Ender. Nice, Salika. Dude, driving coach, doing the driver coach stuff is fun. I can imagine, like, like I've never been a driver coach, but my buddy Diego, I think he's done a little bit of driver driving coaching before for carts. And from what they, you know, from what everyone tells me, like doing coaching is pretty fun, if you have like the right coach with. It's just, I guess it's just like teaching. Like I can imagine Sky Hurricane can re like can relate with his teaching. Like if you have like one bad student, then that's when it becomes hell. But the good students, it becomes fun. Get them learn and progress. Uh, so the reason why Marvin is because I set it up to live chat. The, um, re the, re the Streamlabs chat window, it doesn't filter out cuss words, so you have to put on live chat in order to see the cuss words. Yeah, put live chat. I mean, but how old are we talking about, Sleeka? Are we talking about, like, 12, 13? Or are we talking about, like, 5, 6? Because if we're talking about, like, little, little kids, then... Yeah, I mean, it's gonna take time for them to understand that they have the break, dude. Like, small children, it's gonna take more time to actually teach them stuff. It is, Moy. It's so stupid. Like, I hate the fact that Top Chat does that. And it seems like it's only a problem with my channel, too. MAI going slow. Get out the way, old man. Oh, se okay, from 7 to 16. Okay, I see. But I mean, 7 is still a really young age, dude. Like, I can imagine when you were seven, you didn't know what the hell you were doing with a lot of stuff. Captain Price, oh god. <laughs> I get two for one? Nope. That's what I get for trying to be too greedy. But it's okay, we made up, we made up that deficit in five laps, we can do it in another five. All good. All good in the neighborhood. The AIs won't go slow around the chain, that is. It's the big one, not quite. How did a Muppet like you ever graduate? Oh, no, 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 don't.
you know, it, you know what it is? It's not the fact that I'm reading chat. I just can't handle the pressure of this championship. I'm leading, and I can lose the championship if I screw up, and I'm screwing up because of that. See? Pressure's getting to me. I really want to be in a Formula GT championship, guys. Why'd you repeat the same comment three times, Rishi? But, yeah, I mean, I... I wonder, too. I mean, like, honestly, that's the kind of the point where... You kind of realize whether or not they actually have the capability to do karting or racing in general and stuff. They're able to learn and adapt and all this other stuff, you know? Rishi is spamming. I would ban Rishi, but I can't right now because I'm busy racing. You're in a bad cell zone? And that's your excuse for breaking the rules and spamming in my chat, Rishi? No one consider it. Blame me on the cell phone reception. What an excuse. Your channel was called DNF Motorsports. What the hell am I doing? Why am I going into the grass? I'm like tapping the grass with the left sides. The AI is not that slow through Ascari, but they still are pretty slow. They're not as bad as in the machines. Man, I just hate getting behind them. Yes, it is. All right, I I apologize, Rishi. I'm sorry. Maybe that's it, Silica. So, I mean, teaching is kind of like one of those things where like you have to have a passion for explaining stuff to other people. Not everyone can become a teacher, I guess. So, does the track actually like, or the organization? Do they like make you do driving instructing? Hey, Stealth Chan, how you doing? And welcome back, GT fan. I'm sorry, Mr. Rishi. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, disconnected. It was a nickname. Oh, okay. Maybe I should stop reading the chat when I'm, like, not in the groove. But yeah, uh, disconnected from server. Ah, okay. Oh, it's your club. Okay, I see. Because you're the fastest in the... Okay, I, I get it now. But yeah, like I said, I mean, teaching is just one of those things where you have to have a heart for it, I suppose. Okay. I'll be honest with you guys, like, my Simric just shook a little bit. And since we had two earthquakes in a row last week, I am, like, paranoid about earthquakes. So, I was going to pause the game and just... Get out. I was like, mm-mm. But it was my wheel that caused my rig to shake just a little bit. Yeah, Sky. I mean... I, I can imagine that you wouldn't be a teacher yourself if you didn't want to actually teach kids. Like, if you didn't enjoy actually, like, teaching people for eighth year, see? But you enjoy it. I mean, you have your own students play with you and stuff on your stream, so... You obviously enjoy teaching. And there we go. Back to the lead. Yeah, I mean... I... I would like to teach, too, but I feel like I need to... I don't know. I feel like I would need to actually, like... 
learn how to explain stuff properly, I guess. I don't know. I don't get frustrated with teaching people, but I guess it's just like coming up with things to say. I don't know. All right, now that we have clean check ahead of us, let's actually try to break that 123. See if we can get into the 22s. Yeah, but if I live in Florida, I'll get, you know, uh, as opposed to dealing with an earthquake for like a couple minutes, I'll have to deal with a hurricane for several weeks. No, thank you. I'd rather be in an earthquake than in a hurricane, Rishi. Yeah, but you guys have hurricanes. Hurricanes are arguably worse because they last a long time. So you can flex on some elementary school new. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Linder. Not in New England. We have Disneyland! We have Disneyland here, and we have Six Flags. So it's not even a checkmate. I moved the king away from whatever pieces you're using to attack me. And that's true. That is true. I don't know. Natural disasters are still natural disasters. Do we have NYC checkmate? Oh, okay. okay. Um, still not a checkmate. I mean, you don't have Los Angeles. You don't have San Francisco. You don't have Las Vegas. You don't have Portland. You don't have Seattle. You see, we, the West Coast, actually has a track in Gran Turismo 2 that's lasted the in, in, for almost the whole series, Laguna Seca. We have a street course that lasted longer than New York, Seattle Circuit. Night to F5. Oof. Okay, yeah, I lost. There we go. I, I admit my defeat. And go ahead and quote me here. I'm gonna deny it like several years down the road and this becomes a scandal. I, the moving chicane, agree that the East Coast is better than the West Coast. There. You got what you want, Sabrishi. Now leave me alone! I can't wait to see your new vid, Salika, with the parts. But it doesn't make- okay, so here's the thing I don't understand, Salika. Why is it that you can't use GoPros at your karting track? But... Pack him, it's him. I don't understand... The center is better. Yeah, the central coast is better than the west or the east coast. There you go. Um, I don't understand why your kart track doesn't allow you to use GoPros, but you can use, um... Drones. To film stuff. It that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but don't you guys have tornadoes? Oh, now they're in championship. Okay, well. Okay, no, there. Okay, in that case, that makes sense. What's the fun in that? Oh, they're short-lived and predictable. Damn! So, basically, my natural disaster is the worst one. See, because over here we have earthquakes, and then we have aftershocks from the earthquakes, and then also that then after we have the threat of tsunamis. Alright, I'm like Stop reading chat for this one lap because I want to get into the 22s. It's not Stealth Chan. Okay, I'll I'll go ahead and do the next lap. A warning every year or two. False alarms. Oh, okay. He's playing the quiet game. Oh, you don't have a GoPro? 
Oh, you don't have any kind of action camera at all? GoPro, Replay XD. No, neither. It's still a standard car, but in GT4 it had a, it had a modeled interior, not very well modeled, but no modeled. They just managed to put the camera placed in there. Also, look at the helmet. Look at the seat belts in the back. They're not properly placed on the driver either. But this is still a standard car. Yeah, it has a drone. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to get into the 22s now. too hard. Okay, that goes that run. Lizards are the worst? Oh yeah, I forgot about blizzards like in Alaska or anything. Yeah, Arthur, I mean, I kind of mentioned that before. Think American Bush is too hard. Okay, let's go for a twenty two now. It could have gone wider in the parabolica. Damn, I could have gone in a minute twenty. Damn, that was fast. But then I, I could imagine like TRO Lightning getting like a minute eighteen or something if he did this. All right, so let's see here. Oh yeah, Blizzard would trap you in the house because you know the doors are get shut with ice and stuff that is true i mean i don't know i have flamethrower i don't think it works like that sean that flamethrower could probably get frozen you know like the tips could get shut or maybe not i mean maybe the flamethrower could somehow help the ice if, if the flamethrower itself were to get frozen Chernobyl? That's not really a natural disaster. I mean, I wouldn't really classify like a, a nuclear you know, leak a natural disaster because the you know, nuclear power is all man-made. Like earthquakes, hurricanes, that kind of stuff is, you know, I would consider a natural disaster. Radiation storm. 
It is your sour ring. Oof. Well, I wasn't expecting to get stuck in the wall there. A frozen tip sounds painful. I'm not really tripping about losing these spots because these cars are really close to each other. And they're really slow in the chicanes too. Hey Plump King, how's it going dude? Went fourth because I made a mistake at the first the first chicane. An epic gamer move. for the late lunge here yep oh he wants to fight back but won't be enough sir the first thing he literally saw only three laps to go Yeah, my front wing is a sad. L look at this thing. Look at that front wing. Although the arrow doesn't get affected at all. This is modern technology, guys. Super duper active arrow. Even crashes won't affect the aerodynamics of the car. You're seeing it first here on G5. I wonder if I can get it to the 20s. We'll try on the final lap. Oh god, I'm playing chase cam with a wheel. Not that it's a bad thing, but I'm like not used to this. It's like weird for me. On the Zenvo. It is actually, as you can see. Tactical arrow, yep. You heard it here first, guys. Tactical arrow uh, reveal trailer. Right here, right now. Anyone want to go want to go sightseeing in Chernobyl? Oh yeah, totally. Damn, I pulled out a pretty big lead over the other guys. Probably be like a 22, I imagine. Okay, mid 21, not bad. Final lap. Let's see if we can get to the 20s. The crew two. Okay. Never. I didn't really like the crew two. I don't like any of the crew games. I don't know, I just never really found them fun. That was pretty good through the second chicane. Alright, I might have messed up my time there. I'm gonna keep going anyways. I didn't mean to, okay Jay? I cut it just a little bit. 
Okay, I threw away my lap. Well, the other guys are way far behind. So yay, we win at Monza, we win the Italian 3 8 of a Grand Prix, and most importantly, we win the championship with one round to go. So no matter what happens to Suzuka, I'm trying to take the rare historical month. No. Yeah, clearly. So yeah, um, relatively competitive field overall. I mean, 2.6 seconds is the gap between myself and second, and then all the way down to 8 seconds. Not bad. Well, I like Suzuka, so that's all that matters. I'd like to get yourself a dupe. Let me take this chance to at size. Okay, final round at Suzuka and there's no rain. So we're going to end the series with a dry race. wheel spin at the start. Oh. Nice. Very nice. I got tagged at the start. You gotta love it. Alright, now we gotta go and use our Red Bull X2010 experience from the Vettel Challenge to do this. I know, right? Reminds you of a typical GT Sport open lobby. That little move right there. That was just hard racing, like Max said. Oh boy, opening up that can of worms, I see. Well, it was hard racing. But that turn one at Suzuka was dumb. What's up, Terpaz YT? I think that's how you say your name. I'm sorry if I pronounced it incorrectly. And yeah, GT5 is a good game on the PS3. Like, it's not my favorite in the GT series. It's probably my least favorite in terms of the uh, main six games, but I like it a lot. It's fun. I would take out the AI that messed me up at the start, but I don't know which one it was. We get, basically gained about a second a lap, so we're probably going to catch the lead within 15 laps, maybe. Depending on... I'm saying 15 because anything could go wrong. Take them all out. Stop going so slow, please, AI. Six. Oh well, isn't that the um, what should I call it? The seasonal events GT6. There is no rubber banding in this game. Check out 
want the whole field to get it easy. When was there rubber banding in GT6? The game was really easy. Can you guys name what event that was? Because that event was easy. Also, later, Salika. You have a good one, man. Have a good night. That was my own mistake. Oh boy, I just love making it harder on myself. The missions? Oh, okay. I don't really remember the missions too much because I never really did them. Okay, so GT6, that's, it, it does have rubber banding in missions, so it won't be super easy, I guess. So that's going to be interesting. But I thought most of the missions in GT6 were like time challenges. Where it was like you and two other cars and you had to do a, a time challenge to get a gold. But then the cars were in the way. I thought they were like moving chicanes or something, you know? Damn, even a hard tires can go flat out to 130R. Oh, they're a whole lot. Oh, okay. Like, the only missions I've ever done, or, they're not missions, they're like special events. Obviously the Sierra Time Rally, the Ayrton Senna Challenge. So, I've never really done the missions when I first played GT6. Not even in my failed attempt at a playthrough for it when I started the channel. I have 420. Oh, the Opal Speedster race. That race is hell. Screw that race and the 206 Cup. Those two races can go straight to hell. Two hundred days, big points. Yep. I could have easily went around the silver car, but I didn't want to when I cut 130R, so I didn't want to make a dirty move. <laughs> you just die inside. Yeah, clearly. I can't wait for Marvin to get to the Easter Cup because that's going to be fun to see him just... Rage at it. Thank you, Points On. Really appreciate it, man. Or just say, well, play them. Play them. I mean. If you don't have a PS2 or if your PS3 is not backwards compatible, download an emulator and play them. They're fun games, dude. 3 and 4 are seen as some of the best games in the whole series. Jimmy beat the speaker in his first try. Well, you gotta remember that Jimmy goes and upgrades his cars with everything, including Nitrous. Which is what you're supposed to do. But, yeah, I mean, and didn't he buy, like, incredibly soft tires, too? Why 
132, okay. Not bad. And I'm getting a phone call, so I'll be right back. Hello? Hello? Okay. I'm back. It wasn't spam this time. It was my sister. One thirty four point zero one two is still a good time considering the fact that I was on the phone and not fully concentrated. You don't have a PS2? Oh, okay. Yeah, my sister is spamming me. Like, how inconsiderate of my sister to spam me, I know, right? SMH. No way, really? Wow, dude, I can't believe you actually used that card, Bleb King. Dude, awesome. Welcome to the welcome to the club that Emil and I unofficially have, which I just made it up myself in my head. Called the the Terrible Car Choices Club. Because you know, I like to use a lander over for the Sakuba Nine Hours. He likes to use a Chrysler 300C for the City of the Area Rally. Marvin likes to use uh, Silverado for the NA Sports Car Cup. But yeah, about um, yeah, I mean. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Um, I'm just saying, like, the 4 GT LM is, like, such an odd choice that you have, you're using against LMP cars, and the fact that you're able to finish second tied was amazing. Like, nice job. And all the odds were against you to just completely lose, and you still did a good job. Hey, Cerebral Palsy. How you doing, man? Good to see you again, dude. You'll commit dinner. I'm about to commit lunch real soon. Is he sport 100%? I mean, technically can't 100% it just yet. The day that you'll officially get 100% is the day that they stop making updates and lose GC League races for it. Oh, a Pleb King. I mean, look, I'm stupid enough to try a Land Rover with the Sakuba 9 hours. In GT4, I'm stupid enough to try to use a BMW McLaren F1 for the Infineon World Sports. The first game that I 100%ed, Super Mario World. And that was at the age of like 16. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. There we go. So, back then, okay, actually, yeah, yeah, Super Mario World. So, I'm the type of person to never really 100% games until fairly recently. Like, I've always been the type of person to just give up like 90% of the way. I'm just like, it's too hard. 
I'm not gonna play it no more. But then, like, it felt so good when you beat Super Mario World 100% on Super Nintendo. At You know, when I was 16, I was like, dude, this is, like, the best feeling ever. Hell, beating Gran Turismo 1 100% felt really good. And I've never beat a Gran Turismo up until that moment when I LP'd the first game. So when I beat GT5, I don't think I'm gonna feel, like, crazy emotion as a... Uh, I wouldn't be crazy on emotion as I would be with GT3 and 4, but I feel pretty good for beating GT5 100%. Even if that means I use uh, co-drivers for the endurances, I wouldn't care. That would still be fun. Yeah, CTR is a lot of fun, dude. I played it at E3. Platinum trophies? I don't, I'm gonna get the platinum trophy for this game. I plan on it. Hey, congrats, man. Yeah, I, I know what it's like to get the first hundred subs, man. It takes time, dude. It just takes time, man. Just keep on, just keep hustling. Just keep putting out good content. You have only one platinum for what game? Just put out the best content you can, man, and just enjoy yourself. <laughs> Shut your sensitive ass up, never mind. I just cried. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Malibu's Most Wanted, but when um, at the end, when B Rad and his dad are like reuniting and they're like actually bonding, and then like one of the gangsters inside the inside the club or like the house party was like man I, I want to talk to my daddy too and then the main gangster's like man shut your emotional ass up a lot of gold and silver ones me too i don't think i've ever gotten a platinum either but with gt5 i'm gonna change that Telltale games are all free plats i don't really care about getting free platinums really Honestly, I, d I don't care too much about getting, like, a bunch of trophies or whatever. Like, I don't really care about the little rating, I guess. Mainly because I don't play too many games. Are you sure? Oh, that's true. I need the internet points to feel good about myself. Yeah, GT5 Prologue might be. I mean, there's not really much in that game. Why would you feel sad about that, Ender? Because it's all over or what? Never held my internet past the extreme events. Oh, okay. I mean, fucking, although some of the early PS3 games not having trophies, they could have been added later. Like Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots, when I first played it in like 2010, 2011, I never, it never had trophies. But then recently, like 2017 or so, it, trophies were added. You never know. It's midnight where you're at, but I'm guessing you're either like in maybe France, Poland, Germany, or somewhere in Europe, I guess. Okay, so like Poland and maybe further east. A 
I totally forgot that I did the Red Bull races here. The junior ones in Suzuka? Is the stream still up? Just want to know if the stream is still up, guys. Did the stream die at all? Because I got disconnected for like a minute. Or for like a second. It is? Okay. Thank you. Alright, cool. I hate my ISP so much. Didn't this happen in the B-Spec Suzuka race as well? Oh, you're from Finland! Awesome! Seven twenty-seven. Well, doesn't the Korean version have the most cars technically? Because of the ex the extra Hyundai's and then the extra Lexus race car. Get out of my country! Yeah, the black version cars don't count as different vehicles. By the way, they're classified as the same car. Just FYI. In case you guys don't know. Because some people like to say that the stealth black cars are different. But they're not. Because... Timeless Gaming has a save file where he, like, has every car unlocked in the dealer or something. Like, all the cars are not... They're not not for sale. Or they have all their special paints in the dealer. And so, the stealth black cars, they actually have, um, they're actually in, like, on the same car, basically. Just a different palette swap. Well, wouldn't they be different in power because of the fact that they're used? And then you go and change the oil? Like, is it more power? That would only be, like, the only difference that I could honestly tell. I'm, like, really pushing here. I'm, like, trying to replicate the Red Bull race from GT Sport and the Sebastian Vettel, Vettel Challenge. Black version will... Really? You sure about that? That's like news to me. That's why. But it doesn't have like 20,000 miles or so. It has a bunch of mileage on it. Yeah, power would degrade with miles. Because the car is older, car is used, it's worn, nothing's new on it. That's why sometimes getting those 6.2 mile cars or 10 kilometers or however, whatever the, the conversion is. That's why it would be more important because of the fact that the car isn't worn out. No engine overhaul in GT4. Isn't there some sort of overhaul that you can do? Like, you can do a chassis overhaul or something. It's like 50 grand, I want to say. Everyone plays CTR Nitro in Finland? Nice. I have to get that game still. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right, Plugging? But you see... When I LP GT4 eventually, I have the master list for all the 6.2 uh, 6 mile cars. Because, obviously, I've played the game already. I know what the price cars are, so nothing's going to get spoiled. And I want to get as many of the 6.2 cars, 6.2 mile cars as possible. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that, Rishi. Sometimes it'd be like that. When you have a bunch of money, you just want to do that. It looks hard. I mean, it is, but it's fun. 
ETR is a fun game, dude. But jag inflation. I think the best part about GT4 is the fact that some new cars could appear in the used car dealership, like the Audi TT. And to me, that's the best touch. I think the Golf is another one, maybe. So I'm messing up a lot in this lap. Although we have a new lap started, so hopefully that gives us a new clean sheet of paper. We can extend the gap more. Make less mistakes. Although I have to understand, too, that this car is not the Red Bull X 2010. And it is not the Red Bull X 2014 Junior. My mind's kind of stuck in that mentality right now. That, like, oh, I have a bunch of grip. Yes, the FGT has a bunch of grip, but not as much grip. But I still have to baby this car around the track somewhat. I mean, that's just how the used car market works, dude. Like... I, I guess it's just the fact that, like, some people are really pick, you know, picky when it comes to miles, and you kind of have to be. Oh, uh, Pleb King, I know what you're referring to. F1 fans will know what I just did. Only the real F1 fans will know what I did. If you're not a real F1 fan, get out of my stream. Man, forever touching a weed. That's why... <laughs> it's <laughs> later. Um, isn't that why Ayrton Senna got disqualified? Because he cut the runoff, or he used the runoff area instead of the track or something? During Suzuka in 89? Oh, that was... Okay, no, I was, I was reenacting Suzuka 89 with Senna. When he used the escape road instead of the actual course, and then I think the FIA, like, disqualified him from the standings or something. Politics. Eh, I don't know about that, man. Maybe, but I don't know. Like, FIA politics, like, I feel like FIA is, a, is the biggest political, like, governing body ever. And it ruins some of the racing for me, for a lot of stuff. Yeah, exactly, Sean. They makes perfectly. Uh, okay, yeah, FIFA's, like, terrible. FIFA's the worst. But I, I just fear the day that, like, Formula E gets, like, political somehow, you know? I don't think... I mean, it won't for now because, like, the playing field's pretty even, but... Um, yes... I do believe GT7 will come, but I don't believe anyone that says GT7 is coming out 2020. Because nothing's been confirmed yet. Tactical formula E raised the I don't know, Rishi. I hear that he got disqualified for using the runoff. I don't know if he got disqualified because of the stewards bumping him, giving him a bump start. I have no clue. But yeah, I mean, that's the thing about Formula E. Like, I just have that fear that one day, you know, like, maybe Audi will, you know, 
turn into Ferrari and they'll be like so political. They'll be like, we're gonna pull out the sport if you don't do this for us and that, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, like, like, maybe I'm just too paranoid. Maybe my tinfoil hat is on too tight. I don't know. I just hope Effie doesn't get ruined. What I do hope is that Effie gets better track soon because that track in Switzerland would, oof. Okay, there you go, Mikhail. Not bad. Formula E chicane politics. Two to go, by the way. I wonder if I can get into the 30s, but eh, I don't really want to try. Yeah, dude, like, on, okay, look, I'll be honest. Formula E does have some tight city streets. Some of the circuits are pretty cool, though. But some of the decisions to start the races is dumb. Like, why would you... Okay, look, look, I understand that Formula E has some really tight tracks with tight chicanes and stuff. But why would you go and start a race... Right before a really tight chicane where two cars can barely fit through each other. That makes no sense at all. Then you have, like, Robin Friends getting hit because the chicanes are way too tight. And you basically have someone's championship ruined because of dumb track placement or dumb start placements on your track. Hey, Ben, how's it going, dude? It's the holy god of, of GT2, of G, uh, GR2 racing. Everyone praise the the god of Super GT, Ben Mayall, five-time um, Gran Turismo Super GT 500 champion. The holy god of Jeep. Doing fine, thanks for asking. Are you back in England or are you still in Mexico? GT 500 god, yes. <laughs> praise be. Praise the GT 500 god. If no one praises Ben for being the GT500 god, you guys are banned instantly. No exceptions. Lifetime ban. Ooh, came back on Friday. Nice. How was your trip, man? <laughs> if you don't win the GT championship. Avocados from, from Mexico. I like the commercial just because of the little jingle. Ooh, this is going to be a close finish. In part because I made a mistake coming out of the spoon curve. win the championship we won the championship previously but we win the final race i nearly gave the race away at the end <laughs> i nearly gave the race away at the end like just trying to celebrate oof well doesn't matter we didn't end up um <laughs> we didn't end up losing the race so no harm no foul I'm gonna save the replay, not because I want to use Suzuka as a thumbnail, but because I want to see if I can get a picture of the crash for, like, the stream intros. Giving me a heart attack. And yay, we win a Piston Trophy for winning series. We almost pulled a Barrichello. Do not remind Arthur of that. Arthur will hunt you down, Sean. Yay! The Super GT Championship's next for you. Woo! Well, Ben, I'm gonna use... Technically, they're GR2 cars, but not really, because they don't exist in... Or yet. Although, I think they will exist. Soon. Anyway, so... The prize that we get, which is a pretty neat prize, is... The Caterham 7 Fireblade!
Please be in green. Ah, heck. It's in white. Well, I can repaint the car, so it doesn't matter. But I wanted to get, like, British Racing Green. I might use this car for the Nurburgring 4 hours. Maybe. <laughs> that is a mystery none of us will ever know, Ender. Oh, it's silver. Okay. When you're late to something, it's... Like a Barrichello. Yeah, totally worth it. I mean, yeah, the price car is kind of crap for this late in the game, Moy. But at the same time, it's not a terrible price car. It's your secret way of laughing. That doesn't make any sense. That's like a confirmation, not even a laugh. Call pulling a TMC. Yeah. It runs in the family because supposedly my dad ran out of fuel before on the freeway. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Next time on Gran Turismo 5 A-Spec, we're going to do ourselves the DTM Championship.